how do you assess which is the right fund in your portfolio and uh, to help you navigate through this maze we have on board Dermrin Agrawal founder director of Insafe Mrin uh, good evening welcome to the show and uh, let's directly uh, hop into our uh, caller queries uh, we have Ritesh's question for you first and uh, he is currently investing around uh, 10,000 a month in equity mutual funds and uh, the funds that I am talking about are PGI mid cap fund, Axis blue chip, SBI magnum mid cap and uh, he says that he wants to have a corpus of 12 lakhs in the next 7 years to pay his education loan and uh, in the last 5 years he, have, uh, he has collected almost 5 lakh so now based on these funds and the kind of investments he is doing uh, should he be uh, uh, satisfied with this and uh, uh, relieved about the fact that he will be able to you know accumulate the corpus that he's aiming for through this portfolio all right so good evening kavita and it's lovely to be here today so uh, first and foremost um, what i would say is that of course he wants to corpus of 12 lakhs in the next seven years and of course taking into account inflation because we cannot forget inflation right so taking into account inflation the amount that he needs to be investing is going the amount that he needs to um, uh, collect at the end of seven years is going to grow to about 17 lakhs right so <clears throat> excuse me assuming that he's already invested the five lakhs in these funds itself the good news is that he has to invest only about eight thousand rupees a month of course, if this 5 lakhs is invested somewhere else at some other return, then the numbers are going to be different. But I have presumed that he has invested this 5 lakhs in these funds. So the good news is that he's putting the right amount of money. Now, in terms of the funds, so again, it's good to see that he's taking a good amount of uh, risk in his investments as well. I think he's split it like uh, more, more in, on the mid-cap side than on the large-cap side. Uh, just that the two mid cap funds right now are underperforming a bit but then as you know most funds go through cycles and I think you know on a very short term performance basis I wouldn't want to say that exit the funds what I would say is that keep a track of these fund performance see what is the relative performance compared to the mid cap 150 index compared to the category average. And then if you're seeing consistent underperformance, you might need to change. So right now, I would not advise him to change it because also we don't know for how long he's been investing these monies. Uh, right now, hold on and watch uh, and keep a watch on them. But, um, you know, nothing much to be done at present. Right, so that was the solution for Ritesh. We move on and uh, we have a query from a 20-year-old and that's uh, Shikha. Uh, she says that she is a freelancer and she is a digital content creator and she wants to uh, invest in her gigs money and uh, she wants to invest her gigs money in mutual funds to pursue a degree abroad and obviously upskill herself. So uh, she wants to have a corpus of 20 lakh in 5 to 10 years and uh, she wants you to suggest just mutual funds and the amount uh, she needs to invest for it. So first up, it's very nice to know someone who's 20 year old wants to invest and the gig money that she's earning, she wants to invest it for her upscaling and for her further education. So uh, that's a goal attached to it. Uh, uh, there's no clarity on the time horizon though so far. But then uh, what should be her approach? Yeah, so again, I think it's really nice to see that at 20, first of all, um, she has, uh, she's working and secondly, that she's trying to save as well to pursue higher education. So that's really, really good to see. Um, I think in terms of the funds, you know, because she says that she wants to have a corpus of 20 lakhs in five to 10 years. I think in terms of the funds, uh, you know, it really depends on her period. Now you see five to 10 years is a very long term period, a very long, uh, uh, range, right? So, you know, in the five year range, we typically recommend a balanced fund. Whereas if you're going up to the 10 year range, of course, I would recommend an equity fund. So depending on the exact time period, you know, one of the things could be to also split up the funds to look at a combination of the balance advantage funds and look at a combination of a mid cap and flexi cap fund. Now, since she's young right now and um, she can take some amount of risk, um, you know, if she doesn't want to take risk at all, of course, she can do index and flexi cap. But if she can take some amount of risk, I would highly recommend her to do some mid caps and small cap funds. And at one side, do some amount in the balanced advantage fund as well. All right, we move on. And uh, 
Our next question is from Santosh and he says that he is investing 10,000 per month in equity mutual funds to secure uh, his uh, daughter's education goal and uh, the time frame that he is looking at is 10 to 12 years uh, for the investment and uh, he will need at least 15 to 20 lakhs for her education. The funds that he is invested in are Nippon Small Cap Fund, SBI Small Cap, HDFC Mid Cap Opportunities, PGM Mid Cap Fund and uh, he wants to know if... Uh, uh, these funds are right for the goal that he's just given up? Um, so again, keeping in mind the period of about 10 years, mm -hmm. uh, he needs to be investing anywhere between 11,000 and 16,000 rupees per month in order to reach this particular goal of 15 to 20 lakhs equivalent uh, 10 to 10, 12 years down the line. So that's point number one. It's good that he's investing 10,000. And what I would say is that slowly try to increase this amount uh, to a, a higher amount so that you can actually reach your goal. As far as the funds are concerned, uh, again, it's good that he's taking a good amount of risk because 10 to 12 years is a good long-term period uh, to take risk in mid caps and small caps. Uh, you know, the, the thing that's very important, of course, is to remain invested. So you were having this previous conversation with Arun about this as well. And what is very important is not to get perturbed by the volatility to remain invested in these particular funds. Um, the small cap funds that he's chosen are absolutely fine. Again, on the mid cap fund, um, you know, we are seeing a fair bit of underperformance compared to the index, which I take as a uh, mid cap 150 index. We are seeing some underperformance on these particular funds, but I would think on a longer period of time, things should get ironed out. But at the same time, I would say keep a watch on the funds. But more, more importantly is that you know, if you do see volatile times ahead of us, um, do not exit the funds, remain invested. Do you want to recommend him Sukanya Samriddhi? Yeah, he, um, not really, because in Sukanya Samriddhi, what happens is that we, we don't know what's the age of the child. And hmm. with Sukanya Samriddhi, uh, at the age of 18, you can only withdraw 50% of the accumulated corpus. So I would say that, you know, if you have a 10 to 12 year time frame and you can take risk, then I would certainly say go in for mutual funds. But then we're also talking about a goal, which is, which is an education goal. And we have to factor in the education inflation that's higher than the normal food inflation that we look at. Okay, So uh, uh, how important it is for Santosh to reassess his goal and maybe just rework on the amount of corpus that he wants to collect? I think the corpus is fine. Like if you look at today's education cost, I mean, I think 15 to 20 lakhs is hmm. fine. Hmm. But but you uh, still don't know whether the kid needs to go uh, abroad or it's an education yes. that's in India. So how do we how, how do we tackle that goal alignment? Um, so unfortunately, what happens is that that knowledge you get only when the child is in high school. So one right. option is that uh, you see the trend that's happening around uh, around you. And, um, you know, you try to then kind of increase the corpus. So if you're looking at 20 lakhs, then certainly you're going to need much more than 20 lakhs, right? You're going to probably need four or five times the amount. So look at increasing your uh, corpus goal value and look at obviously saving more. Um, that, that's the only thing that you can really do. Okay, let's move on to our uh, next query, which is from Siddharth. He's 30 years old and uh, he works at a private company. His monthly income is around 80K and uh, he wants to invest in equity mutual funds for a period of 20 years and build a corpus of 1 crore. And he says that he can right now invest around 30 to 40,000 per month and uh, he wants to do it through mutual funds. So what funds would you recommend? Yeah, so I think the amount that he's investing is good. It's good mm. to see... 50% of uh, savings, that, that's a really good number uh, to see going towards investments. And again, since he's young and he has 20 years to go for his particular goal, certainly I would again say go in for a combination of small caps, in fact, small caps and mid caps. And um, of course, if he doesn't want to take that much of risk, he can look at the flexi cap funds as well. And again, if he doesn't want to take any, I mean, he wants to take really low risk, but be in equities, then clearly go in for the Nifty 50 index fund. A, a nice combination could be like a Nifty 50 index fund, a flexi cap fund, and maybe a couple of small cap funds. All right, so that's the strategy for Siddharth. And uh, as you rightly mentioned, he's investing a good amount right now. So uh, uh, any luck for him to accumulate the amount that he's mentioned before the time frame, if he increases the investment? 
Oh yes, absolutely. Because you know, even now, I uh, when I took the uh, returns at ten percent only, you know, by the way, um, and the amount that he had to invest was thirty five thousand per month. I do believe that in a twenty year period, he should be able to earn more than ten percent return. But you always want to be very conservative uh, uh, with your uh, calculations, right? So certainly, if he does get a higher return, that's an added bonus to him. Right, Marin. Thank you so much for being a part of this show.